Hello and welcome to stage 14 of Giro d'Italia 2020. We're in Val d'Obiadone in northeast Italy for a 34.1 kilometer time trial in the Prosecco Superiore wine region of Veneto. Let's get a look at what we're uh, facing today. With the riders head out of Conegliano. It is a relatively short 34.1 kilometer ride, but against the watch riding solo, set to be very significant. The longest of the three time trials that the riders uh, will be presented with in this year's Corsa Rosa, and it is uh, significantly the most challenging. There's a grippy little climb at the beginning, Moro de Ca del Poggio, and then they head towards the Col San Martina at the end, and uh, out of Guia, the ramps get up to over 8% before they plunge down the final three kilometers into Val d'Obiudane. And then they have the uh, short little 400 meter ramp that will test and challenge weary limbs at the end of what's gonna be a technical affair and also a big athletic demand. Felipe Ogana, the world champion. Stripes ready to leave the start ramp out of Conegliano. The Italian favorite. Could he be on a hat trick today? <laughs> Quick reminder the time to beat 43 minutes and six seconds, uh, recorded by Rowan Dennis, the man who preceded him as the world time trial champion, Felipe Ogana. Uh, wow, well, look at that, 17.7 seconds faster through the next split. So it's going in the right direction for Philip Ogana. He is an immense talent, there is no doubt about it. We've got a GC battle to come, but Philip Ogana, the world champion, is going to record the fastest time in this time trial. It's going to be a tough one to beat. He's going to obliterate the time of his teammate, Rowan Dennis, almost a half a minute to the good as he gets inside the final 50 metres. He's still pressing on the pedals. He's not going to celebrate just yet. Get across the line. 26 seconds faster than double world champion Rowan Dennis. He can hardly get the bike stopped in time. That was an immense performance. A sprint to the line from the young American rider. UAE Team Emirates have a rider for general classification here, and he might just about get there in time. He's 11 seconds to get through to the line for Brandon McNulty in order to record a top three uh, position. It's going to be tight, but it's going to be a podium finish to this point for Brandon McNulty. I made a fourth fastest at the second split, just under half a minute back. He's lost another little bit of time to uh, seven seconds behind Brandon McNulty but he's gaining more time on Wilco Kelderman. Wilco Kelderman, through the last couple of hundred meters, he'll power up this straight, the team's Sunweb rider, getting it all out on the road to Val Dobiadane today, and Kelderman completes his effort in the top 10, and that is, uh, uh, I think, likely to be an improvement, just one rider to come afterwards, is so certainly in the top 10 for him. So Joao made it through and into the final moments of this. Just a few technical issues here at the finish line. No problems for Joao Almeida in the race for the pink jersey. He's certainly going to retain his lead in the general classification. He'll wear pink for a 12th day in Giro d'Italia. And Joao Almeida racing up to the line. Will he manage to overhaul Wilco Kelderman and extend his lead? Or will he leak a bit of time to the Dutchman who's making a push for glory? Joao Almeida across the line in sixth position. He improved, I think, in the final knocking. And what a fantastic effort from Joao Almeida. Just 44 seconds down on Felipe Ogana, who wins the 14th stage time trial. Well, there's confirmation of the finishing order at the conclusion of the time trial with Felipe Ogana getting the win by 26 seconds over his Team Ineos Grenadiers teammate. Every victory is important for me. And uh, in this Giro, we uh, see we have a really strong team. We win everywhere, and uh, we are really happy. It's been waiting a while for this, but it's the third time of asking in Giro d'Italia 2020 for Filippo Gano, brings those rainbow stripes to the podium. An improved advantage for Joao Almeida. 56 seconds to the good, Bilbao hangs on to third, McNulty now up to fourth, what about that? Yeah, actually, uh, I did better than what I thought. <laughs> uh, I'm super happy with, uh, with the results, and uh, I think in the end it was very positive there. Joao Almeida! 
It's an extended overall advantage. It's pretty much a perfect day out, short of winning the time trial itself. 